Hey guys, it's JP, REITips.com, and I'm sitting in the middle of McKinney, Texas at a, at a little cafe called Poppy's here with Gary Grubbs. Gary is one of our uh, KISS flippers, fellow KISS flipper. Uh, for those of you who know what KISS flipping is, it's the, the training series that I went through with Bob Norton here not too long ago. And Gary has uh, actually just today, just about an hour ago, wrapped up his first textbook KISS flipping transaction. Uh, has a nice payday coming to him. He's going to go pick up his check this afternoon. So I just thought, you know, in the next couple minutes it would be great just to walk through that deal and give you guys kind of an inside look, an inside scoop at what it is that he was able to do. So, Gary, thank you, my friend. I appreciate it. Hey, JP, uh, how you doing? Yeah, man, thanks for having a nice lunch with me. Um, my girls are actually down there somewhere at the, uh, at, I don't know, you probably couldn't see them. They're down there hanging out while we're doing this. So, um, you just closed the deal. What was the name of the street? Uh, Choice. Joyce? Joyce. Joyce. J-O-Y-C-E. Okay. What kind of check are you going to be picking up this afternoon from Joyce? A little over 20K. A little over 20. Mm -hmm. um, this is a textbook kiss flipping deal. Can you walk us through, uh, kind of start to finish the numbers, the, you know, what was involved, what it looked like? Yeah. Uh, basically, the numbers, uh, the house appraised did about, oh, I'm sorry, not appraised, but the value of the house, according to the comps, were about uh, 99000 uh, we bought it for fifty-one thousand, and uh, we sold it for seventy-six five. So, very uh, good. It, the numbers worked. Um, now, when we say it was a textbook kiss flipping deal, some of the elements that are unique to the kiss flipping model are, uh, for example, you uh, are focusing in one specific zip code school district. Uh, you know, just focusing on being an expert in that area, and this property, and actually another one that you're about to get started on, both came from your offers in that one specific zip code, right? Yes, yes. Yeah, okay. we, we focus primarily on one zip and uh, that's all we do. It's very difficult to get a handle on the entire market, so you got to focus in on one area. Big fish in a small pond. Absolutely. So uh, what would you do for the rehab? Uh, first of all, how did you find the person who did the rehab for you? How much rehab did you do? And uh, I guess that's it. What, yeah, it, it, was, it was classic Bob Norton kiss flipping type of thing. Uh, I used all the contacts from the realtor. I really didn't even bring anything to the party. Um, I had the realtor give me all of his foundation guys, his carpet guys, his painters, uh, the guys that did the tear out for me. Everything was done. And uh, all I did was basically make a phone call. So it turned out pretty good. How many hours would you say you have invested into this transaction? Uh, maybe about 10. Yeah, about 10. It's not a bad payday for 10 hours worth of work. Not at all. No, it's a great one. Nice. Okay, so um, you sold it to a retail buyer uh, for, what was your sales price? Seven? 76.5. 76.5. Mm -hmm. So that's another another uh, classic example of a kiss flip deal. You're selling a better quality product than most people are expecting in that market. Uh, and you're a big fish in a small pond and you're selling it below retail market. So anybody who is buying in that area is going to have their interest raised immediately. Did you have any um, any aha moments, you know, like, hey, I really wish I had done this a little differently, you know, once you went through it. What would you do differently if you could go back through the deal? Yeah, I would say that uh, because of the fact that we were we had such a quick sale on this, uh, I would analyze my sale price a little bit better um, than I actually did. Uh, we were in kind of a rush and the guy asked me right off the cuff what I wanted for the house and I gave him something off the top of my head without analyzing the numbers. So uh, in hindsight, I definitely would say that, you know, I'll get back to you on that. Let me analyze my numbers. I just bought the place too, so I'll give you a call back. So what was, I mean, what, from the date you purchased this, the date you sold it, how much time lapsed? Uh, I bought it on April 3rd and today is, you know, fourth, this, the 4th of June. So it took me a little over a month and that was because of financing. Uh, we were done. We had the whole thing finished within two weeks. And uh, we've been sitting there waiting for the financing to come through for the retail buyer. So that was really the whole deal. Where did you get your acquisition money? Uh, I used hard money on this one. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, so looking at this deal now that you're on the other side of it um, you know some people are looking at this and they're going this market you know come on there's got you got to be in some kind of special market we're in one of the worst real estate markets anybody's ever seen and everybody's saying real estate's the hardest business to make money in right now and you just scored a nice one it's a nice nice first deal and you've got another kiss flip on the back end of this um, what do you have to say about the market here is this is there something special or unique in 
in the Dallas McKinney area, or you know, what do you what do you think? No, I would say that just go to the MLS or have somebody that has access to the MLS. Do a little research, pull up all you can about a specific zip code, do an analysis of all properties sold, and take a look at the transactions, and you'll be amazed at the transaction, what properties are selling for, and what people are buying properties for. So you'll see there's a lot of activity out there, but uh, although the news really doesn't